Okay, so today I want to create some author pages. Um, I want to have an individual page for every author that we have to be uploaded onto our website. Um, I don't want to create those manually, that would take days and days, uh, so I want to create them automatically. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is use our Onyx data as the source file. Um, I want to use some XSL, uh, which I'll use to make the XML look pretty. Uh, and to make the production of the HTML files themselves uh, run very quickly, I'll use a batch file. Um, so like a good magician, I shall show you that the box is empty. Uh, the, you can see that there's the CSS files and the images files waiting to be attached to the HTML files, but we haven't created those yet. So I will go and create those now. And we could be creating uh, pages for our shop, our online shop, or category pages, uh, or advanced information sheets, which we create like this. Um, or catalogue pages even, uh, but today we're going to be creating uh, author pages. So I'm simply going to double click and run that batch file and the computer will go away and create those HTML files for us. Lovely. It's nice quick. Let's see if that's actually worked. Yep, yeah, there we go. Lots of lovely HTML files there. Let's just open up one up and see if it's worked nicely. Great, you can see that uh, this is Sarah Bryant's page. There's her contributor statement from the Onyx record. Um, and then the XSL has selected the titles that she and she alone has written. Uh, and we can add them to our baskets and everything, everything. so that's great. Um, job done.